Hello guys and welcome to the Motorola i1 review. I've uh, went through several reviews already. I uh, posted one onto the internet and the length was too long so I'm having to remake another one. And I had problems holding uh, my camera during a review at the same time because I have to use my iPad Nano now which i am got my iPad Nano taped to a camera stand. It's kind of a redneck deal but hey it gets the video done. Alright I got these phones here. For size comparisons here, I got the Motorola i776, uh, Motorola i1, of course, Motorola i465, Clutch, and the Motorola Brute. Um, these are just, like I said, size comparisons here. Uh, it's pretty much the difference in size right there. Motorola i1 is the longest, but this one's the thickest. Next is down to that, and these two are pretty close for thickness. Alright, uh, on the Motorola i1, showing you guys here, let's start off with this is your home menu right here. And as you can see right there, I got a little uh, Christmas clock, and it's all decked out for Christmas. It's cool stuff you can add on here. Alright, so this is your main menu. Slide it over and get it on the menu over here. You can slide back this way and you get another menu. This menu here I got for uh, kind of widgets as you can see there. I got the weather channel, Wi-Fi, silent mode, Wi-Fi analyzer, and a flashlight. Uh, all those other than the Wi-Fi analyzer you have to download off the Android market. They're all free. Uh, I got here, you got a little task manager. You tap that up there and you get a killed task for it saves your battery life. That's another thing on this phone. The battery life on this phone is not the best it runs down runs the battery down real fast when you use like a oh apps and such uh let me start out with because a lot of people say boost mobile has slow internet service or even data service or text messaging and all this is a uh, opera mini or opera mini can't remember the exact name all right we're gonna go to uh let me type in here we're gonna go to youtube this will be in the search results. This is just the search results loading here. Now this is to load a page like on Google, as you can see. Alright, now we're gonna go right to YouTube. This is YouTube's website now. There's a YouTube website, fully loaded. And a lot of people ask, does this phone go on YouTube videos and watch them? That is a yes with uh, a dot .apk file you can download off the internet. If you need me to put a tutorial up on how to do that, I will on a request. And here's the YouTube video to play it. You have to download the little, I guess you call it, little uh, widget or something like that to do this. And you hit watch video. Now if you do this without downloading the app, it will go and, uh, whoops, I'm sorry. This is one thing, you have to be connected to Wi-Fi to play videos or it won't do them. See if it automatically connects. Sometimes you have to go, okay, it automatically connected. Go back to here, hit watch video. Touch screen sideways. Loading video. And uh, for some reason it says this video can't be played. Never had that happen before. Let me go to another video here. Uh, we're going to go to this RC Snowmobile New Light Brushless. I know this video worked yesterday. Alright, we're going to turn it back sideways. And, alright, something's going wrong here. I haven't saw this happen before. Alright, there it is. And there's your YouTube videos. I was playing some new light brushless uh, thing. Hit back. Takes you back to here. You can go watch your other videos, comments, stuff like that. Alright. Uh, text messaging. That's another nice thing to show you guys. Text messaging improved a lot. When I mean a lot. I mean a lot. You can text a lot faster. You get them a lot faster. There's a 
The maximum I found is to be almost a 10 second delay, which isn't bad for Boost Mobile's IDN network. Including it, you get the push to talk. And uh, here's text messaging of this phone. This is your uh, kind of messaging menu, which doesn't slide because I don't got any messages below. Uh, to compose a message, you hit new message up here. It's going to come up with something like this. Hit two. I'm just going to type in something random here. It does find, if you type in random letters, it does find random numbers. I don't even know who they are. It's not even a phone number, it don't look like. And then to compose, you hit right here and you type in, you know, hey, what's up? I don't know if you guys can see it. Here, there it is. And then uh, here's different keyboards on this phone here. Input method. There's the Android keyboard, XT9 text input, and swipe. Swipe, I'll try to show you guys here. Alright, and that's the swipe keyboard. So basically, if you want to say dog, you put your hand, or you put your finger on D, move over to G, or O and G. And whoops. Held it too long trying to tell you guys what to do here. Alright, so let's say we say watch. You put your thumb down, W, move it over, 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 the letters. This one doesn't, I found it sometimes works good, sometimes it don't. And it comes up with suggestions a lot. I don't even know if you guys see that. And that comes up with it. It's, it's an okay keyboard, but I like the Android keyboard a lot better. And then there's the uh, XT9 keyboard. That's like that. It's kind of ugly looking, but it does do the job pretty good. Alright, now we're going to go off and we are going to go to the main menu, app menu. You can pull it up like this, or you can just tap it and it'll come right up. And there's all my apps and stuff I got in the phone right here. Get all kinds of two different ones. And there's a real, real player right there. Soundhound, really good app. And here's just like a cool little app you can get. It's called the Strobe Light. Flashing of the screen like you can change colors and change stuff like that to make like a strobe light There's a uh, okay dialer. That's another good thing to show you guys nice dialer on the phone uh, Real responsive you can put a dial like sound to it too Which sometimes is loud contacts basically like this Just keep going down down with them and if you go over this little bar here it comes up with the letters nice little feature there and um, flashlight, I'll show you that here. Tap it. There's your flashlight. It does not come on the phone, but you can download the app for it. It's called Tiny Little Flashlight, I think it's called, something like that. Let me see here what it says. Uh, whoop. Uh, it doesn't even say, it just says flashlight in here. But in the uh, Android market, it's Tiny Little Flashlight. Uh, here's another thing, it's called Fun Vibrator. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it. It just different feeling vibrates, I guess you can say. I don't know, it's kind of a little funny app, but it was okay to download. Not the best thing, but it was okay. Uh, and then there's a YouTube app down in the corner. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. It's got red and the camera's not picking it up too good. That app is for the, that's the YouTube.apk file. Uh, it'll come in like that, but you can go through that, which will open it up like this. Oh, I need to go for Wi-Fi, so I'm not going to show you that, but just uh, comes up with like a little YouTube app. If you guys want me to put a video on like what the app looks like, I can do that for you too. Uh, Android Market here. So the Android Market looks like on this phone right here. Once it loads. Alright, and then there's uh, applications. Sometimes this app takes a long time, sometimes it don't. It just depends. Uh, what your signal is and stuff. Wi-Fi is pretty fast. There's your Android Market. Different stuff you can download. It's got ratings, stuff like that. You can go by date and stuff. And uh, pretty sure you all know what the Android Market looks like. If you want me to put more on the Android Market, I can. Uh, camera, that would be a good thing to put up here. Hold this little button on the side right here. And bring up the camera. There's your camera, you can turn it, uh, you're supposed to take the picture sideways with the phone. I always end up taking like this and get them all messed up, I forget. Uh, you can put flash on, right there, so it says flash on, flash off. It's got a camcorder on it, camcorder is not the best, camera's real good picture. It's got high quality picture, seems like to me. 
It's a uh, five. Let's see here, five megapixel camera on it. Real good camera to have, handy. And uh, let me see if I can find anything else here for you guys. Facebook app, it's okay, not the best. Kind of better to go through the uh, actual web page on the browsers. Soundhound, really good app to show you guys here. Tap this, it'll start to scan. It's listening, as you can see right there. Tap it again, it stops, it says searching. And if you hear a song on the radio you like, tap it and listen to the song. And you can actually uh, search it, put it on your history or your bookmarks and stuff. And listen to it on YouTube, get lyrics. Real good app to have. Uh, I think this should be my review on the Motorola i1. If you guys would like me to post anything else on the i1, uh, any kind of internet browsing on different websites, uh, full HTML websites, anything you want me to actually do, I can do for you. Uh, I did have someone ask me for a Best Buy review, and I did promise in a Best Buy review that I would post a video on the Motorola i1. Uh, like I said, I'm sorry for the wait. I've had a heck of a time getting this video going, and this has been my first review I've ever done on a phone, so I'm a little inexperienced on that part, but I will try to make up for it if I miss something by your guys' uh, request. And uh, like some, I said uh, before, someone on the Best Buy review asked if the phone does a uh, compass. That is a yes. I'm sorry I did not get it in this review. I uh, actually totally forgot to download it on here. So if you'd like me to still download that and put that in a video again, I can do that for you. Just request it in the comments. And uh, I think that should be everything here. Well, actually, you know, I'll go through the overall. The overall phone, is it worth $400? That is a yes, I'd say so. It's 300 is a real good deal, I'd say. 400 is just pushing it, but it is worth the $400, I think. Uh, great durability on the phone. I'll put another video up on the uh, kind of oh technical stuff of it. But uh, that should be everything on the Motorola i1 review. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.